I'm Tina Nunez with EdTech and this quick tip is specifically for students. I'm going to show you how you can use your shortcut keys on your Chromebooks. Here's a quick video for students about some Chromebook shortcut keys. First, we're going to talk about docking your windows. If you use the Alt key and the brackets, like so, Alt left or right, you can dock your windows on either side of your screen, allowing you to split your screen. The next shortcut is looking at your view history by using the control and the H key, which will open up a brand new tab with your browsing history in it. Another similar shortcut for that is using control and J to open up a brand new tab with your download history, where you can open up a brand new window of your downloads. Some shortcuts for bookmarks are using the control key and the D key to bookmark that particular tab inside your bookmarks immediately. You can also use control, shift, and the letter B to hide your bookmark bar or to bring it back. On your Chromebook, you have the ability to have different desks. If you wanna create a new desk with a shortcut, use the shift key, the search key, and the equal key and it will create a brand new desk. You can see all of those different desks up here. If you want to switch between all of those different desks, search key and the bracket keys will switch between all of those different desks. If you want to take a window and move it to a brand new desk, use shift, search key, and then the bracket key, and now I have moved from desk two to desk three. Now there are also some shortcut keys for tabs. If you want to create a brand new tab using a shortcut key, use the control key and the letter T and you got a brand new tab right there. If you want to close that tab, use the control key and the letter W. So when I do control and W, that tab disappears. You can switch between all of the tabs in a window quickly with the shortcut of control and tab. Control tab will move from left to right. So control tab goes over one tab, you hit tab again, tab again, and it will go through all of your different tabs. If you want to pick a specific tab, you can use control and the number. So if I wanna pick this third tab over, I can use control and the number three, and that will take me right to that tab. I'm gonna do control and the number one, and that will take me back to the first tab. You can zoom in with shortcut keys. I'm gonna to go to this document and use control plus, and I'm gonna be able to zoom into that document and make it bigger, or I can use control minus to zoom out. Do control and the number zero, and it will reset to 100%. So that's control plus to zoom in, control minus to zoom out, and control zero to reset. You can do page browsing by full pages using shortcut keys. I'm gonna go back to this document and it's just a giant document of the word banana. I use the search key and down and I can jump full pages or I can use the search key and go up and jump by full pages. You can use control and that screenshot button and you can take an entire screenshot of the screen or use shift control in that screens button and you can capture a specific section of that screen. And finally, let's talk about a couple last miscellaneous shortcuts. If you use Alt and Search, you can turn on Caps Lock. So if I go here to a Google Doc and I use the Alt and Search key, I can turn on the Caps Lock and then you can do Search and the Alt key again and that will turn it back to normal. You can use the search key and L to lock your screen. You're gonna have to log back in to get back into your Chromebook. I won't do that now or it'll turn off our screen share. And then if you wanna see more shortcut keys on your Chromebook and what's available, use Control, the search key, and S, and it will open up an entire shortcut key list of all of these different shortcuts that are available for you to use on your Chromebook. This video was made specifically for students. And if you want to review all of these on your own with the slide deck, the link to this slide deck is going to be available for you in the description below. Students, look for our orange quick tips on our YouTube channel. Those are specifically for you, so go ahead and like and subscribe.